I really love our Fiamma awning that I recently installed. I also like the uh, white color of the housing because it kind of blends in with the trailer a little more than the silver, but it's really personal preference when it comes to that. I also love the blue color of the fabric because it kind of coincides with the blue stripes on the trailer. Um, really, the Fiamma is pretty much the only way to go on newer Casitas because the brackets that Casita sells, the special adapter brackets, will only fit a Fiamma awning. So the awning, when we bought it, it came with all the mounting hardware for most applications and the directions. And they actually show that you're supposed to use carriage bolts and through bolt the awning brackets all the way through to the inside of the trailer and put nuts and reinforcing plates on the inside. So I went ahead and did it that way. Um, I know Casita doesn't do that from the factory. They tend to use pop rivets. I just wasn't real comfortable with the strength of those and uh, somebody we know did have a problem with that. One thing I love about this Fiamma awning is it's really easy to deploy it. I mean, it's not that complicated. The awning we had on our Scamp trailer was kind of an ordeal because it unrolled instead of cranked out. So you had to pull a string and pull it out and take it all the way out for it to lock in where this is a lot easier to operate. We love our lagoon table. It gives us the flexibility to eat, but still moves out of the way at bedtime. This is huge because we use our Casita Independence in the twin bed configuration. That means that we can have full-time beds and a full-time dinette in our little trailer. We can easily move the lagoon table out of the way so that we can make up the bed on our southern mattresses. We can move it out of the way to make the bed. I really love that. One of the first things we did when we purchased our Casita trailer used was to replace the tires. So we replaced the original Goodyear Marathon tires that came factory installed on our trailer, basically due to the ongoing problems many people have had with them, and I didn't want to risk it damaging the trailer or injuring somebody. So we replaced them with the Goodyear Endurance, which so far has had an excellent track record. So I did replace the two that were on the trailer. So recently I decided I should go ahead and take a look at the spare, and we kept the best Goodyear Marathon original tire as the spare. Well, lo and behold, when I took the spare tire cover off, the tire had started separating just while it was sitting on the back of the trailer. So it has a big bulge right here. So I went and bought another Goodyear Endurance, so we have three now. So the original equipment Goodyear Marathon tires were actually manufactured in China, and Goodyear's had a lot of trouble with those, so they came out with the Endurance tire, which is made in the United States, which is a far superior tire. And the place where we purchased the tires, they still sell Marathons, but the Endurance is only about $40 more a tire, I believe, so it's well worth upgrading the tires. Because if you don't, and the tire comes apart suddenly without any forewarning, not only is the tire and the wheel probably going to get damaged, it's also going to damage the wheel well of your trailer, and that's assuming you can get to the side of the road without having some kind of a collision. So one of the problems with the tires on your trailer is that it's much more difficult to notice while you're driving if there's a problem with the tire till it's too late. This, for example, if this tire with the bulge was on your car and you were driving it, it would be highly noticeable. You'd get some vibration and a little bit of wobble going down straight down the road, where when it's on your trailer, it's not that noticeable when you're pulling it behind the car. So that's why it's really important to keep up on your trailer tires and try and get the best you can. We really love our Goodyear Endurance tires. We've had absolutely no problems with them. Um, they also seem to hold air longer with 
without any uh, leakage over time. Also, they seem to have a very good track record. I have not heard of anybody that's had trouble with a Goodyear endurance tire. Before, Doug always had the keys to the trailer, and I would have to go and ask him for the keys to get in. Now that we have the keyless entry door lock, I don't have to ask Doug to get in anymore. I just open the keypad using the secret code. Well, I really love our keypad door lock that I installed. What I like about it is that if we don't have to have our keys all the time to get in and out, um, or if somebody, Kristen, shows up at the trailer for an emergency bathroom break and I don't, I'm not there to unlock it, she can unlock it herself without a key. A couple things I don't like about it. One, it didn't fit our trailer door opening exactly, so I had to make a plate to fill in the gap. The other thing I found out is when you change the batteries, it doesn't hold your, your stored code. So you have to start over and re-enter your code every time you change batteries. Um, so it doesn't fit on all casitas because for a few years, casita used a different um, door lock system that had a rectangular opening and a bigger lock assembly. So it fits on some of the old ones older than ours and some newer than ours, but not this year range of 2013. I really love our Stromberg Carlson tray. I do like it better since I cut the legs down, so it's at more of a manageable height. I can still get the propane canisters in and out, turn the valves on and off. Also, we added our Honda generator and a homemade lock system since we couldn't get one online anywhere. Also, I added this Rotopax um, 1.75 gallon gas can, so we have gas for the generator. And there's also a lock on the back side so somebody can't readily steal it. The other thing about this, I noticed this tray, the many miles we've put on the trailer, this tray is still sturdy as the day I put it on. It hasn't worked loose or distorted or anything. It's really robust. One of the things that I don't like about it is that the, the black powder coat is really fading bad. I mean, it's actually like a flat color now compared to the rest of the black on the trailer that's been there since 2013. So since we've only had it on about a year, I was surprised how bad it's faded. One thing that we really love are our Southern mattresses. They are so comfortable. They come with a soft side and a hard side. We initially tried them out on the hard side and I found that it was just too hard for me. It wasn't comfortable. I'm a side sleeper, so it was really uncomfortable on my neck. Doug usually likes a firm mattress, so it was working for him. He agreed to flip them over, and we actually had to switch because of the curvature of the bottom of the casita. And it turns out he likes the soft side okay, so we're just so happy. We're getting a better night's sleep than we are even on our home mattress. What do you think about the new mattresses? I love my southern mattress. This is the best thing ever. This could be my final resting place. Also, that's the southern. This is the kind of southern comfort that causes you to wake up without a headache. It was expensive. It was a thousand ninety dollars. But I'm telling you, I was sleeping on a memory foam mattress with a REI inflatable pad on it, and it was hokey, and it just wasn't that comfortable. People have said that shipping is really expensive to California. Shipping was $239.95 to Northern California, and to me, it's worth it to ship it all the way up here to Northern California. And so I'm just, I'm really happy with them. We've read a lot of information on the Facebook groups and the forums about how happy people are with their Southern mattresses. And so we were willing to give it a try and we are not disappointed, not in the slightest. If you're going to be using your trailer for any length of time, I highly recommend that you get a Southern mattress. It is so worth your money. The order process was really simple. I just called them up and they have all of the measurements for casitas on file. So you don't have to measure your casita. You don't have to do anything like that. We had to tell them that we wanted the twin bed configuration and we definitely wanted the twins so that we could have this as a dinette also and also be able to sleep at night and just we just move our lagoon table out of the way. I am not disappointed and I don't think that you will be disappointed either and Southern Mattress didn't pay me to say that. Our casita trailer since we bought it used it came with the standard 15 gallon water tank which was really not quite enough for some of our trips so I 
swapped it out for the 25 gallon and it's been a lot better having that extra water capacity. Now that we have our 25 gallon water tank, we can spend more time off the beaten path. We can spend more time boondocking and we can take longer showers. I love that. So we put on the solar system on the roof. We started out with two 45 watt panels, which was sufficient, but there was room for one more. So I decided to add a third panel later on. So now we have three 45 watt panels. It's ZAMP, Obsidian, the low profile panels. The main reason on the ZAMP was because the US made have a good reputation and these particular newer Obsidian panels have a lower profile. Are you tired of yelling at your spouse backing in the wrong direction and running things over? Halovia was kind enough to send us this wireless backup camera and we love it. At first, we weren't sure what to expect, but I have to admit, we were pleasantly surprised. What I like about the camera is it's actually better than marriage counseling. Because <laughs> then, then I can see what's going on and have a, in my mind's eye what's happening behind the trailer while I'm backing up. So yeah, the things I do like, it does, it's a color picture, it's got a very large screen. The only thing so far that I don't really like that much is due to the size of the screen, it takes up a lot of real estate on top of your dash pad. So I think what we're gonna do is just, when we're, well, for sure when we're not towing the trailer, we're gonna take it down because it's just not a beanbag mount instead of a permanent mount. But while we're traveling on long trips, if we don't really need it, I may just take it down and set it on the center console. So one of the things I really like about it is I like that display. It's really a beautiful colored large display. And the other thing that I like about it is it has sound. So I wasn't really expecting it to have sound. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's gonna make our communication a lot better, at least in regards to the trailer. Yes. <laughs> and the price tag is cheap compared to marriage counseling. <laughs> Well, we do like the way I set it up without a permanent mount in the tow vehicle. We can actually just set it on the dash and plug it in the lighter in a different vehicle if we should decide to tow with a different vehicle or somebody else is going to tow it for us. Now, that beanbag mount was a separate accessory, but to me, it's really worth it to not have that big display on the dashboard all the time. There's also a separate mount that you can get that you can mount it to your rear view mirror. But again, that takes up a lot of space and you have to take it on and off. And the bean bag is really easy to remove it off the dash. Since you're not going at high speeds, it's really secure on the dash with that bean bag mount. But if you were going at high speeds, you'd be able to see the law enforcement vehicle behind you <laughs> when the lights came on. So they wouldn't have to pull up next to you to let you know they're pulling you over. You could see when they're directly behind you. I mean, you could potentially use it as a security camera inside the trailer if you had some alternate power source for the camera itself. You could put the monitor inside, plug it into the lighter, and you could see behind the trailer. You'd just have to run a, a power source besides the license plate light to run it. Recently, I decided to install some alloy trailer wheels on here, kind of to dress it up. It's more cosmetic than anything, but the, the advantage is, is also they're not going to rust. Yeah, I really love the look of these wheels. I think it makes the trailer look sporty. Um, I've sent a couple pictures to my friends and they really love the look of it. Kristen, not so much. She's not that much into wheels, but she's okay with them. Our Casita came with the high lift axle already installed, but we decided to also add the bolt-on shock absorber kit. Made a big difference. Trailer doesn't bounce as much. Um, I feel a little bit better if we go on bumpy roads so that the cabinets aren't gonna be flying open and not beating up the trailer as much. Sick of your old nasty carpet? Good riddance to old carpet. Oh my gosh, it stinks. We replaced our nasty carpet with laminate flooring and we love it. I added a HEPFO valve to the shower. We had a couple of bad experiences where when the gray water tank was full and start traveling and stop and go traffic, next thing you know there's uh, gray water backed up in the shower makes the whole trailer stink, plus makes an ugly mess in the shower. So I did put the HEPFO valve on there and that keeps the uh, gray water in place while you're traveling. One of the reasons we replaced the thermostat was because the one that came with the trailer was highly inaccurate. It was kind of hit or miss on the temperature. It's had some number graduations. I think it was like 50 degrees and 70 and trying to get something in between was just very imprecise. 
So the new thermostat is a digital version and it has um, arrows for up and down and a digital readout for the temperature. You just set it for your comfort temperature and just sit back and enjoy the heat. If you'd like to see a tour of our Casita Independence, check out this video. If you'd like to see how we did some of the improvements in this video, check out this playlist. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items in this video, check out the link in the description. Any purchase that you make helps offset the costs of this video while not costing you an extra penny.